Hey, Paul. <laughs> hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. Welcome to Building Up To It, episode 25. Another landmark. They're all landmarks. Oh, every episode. A it's uh, a what is it? Soda up to pop? And that's soda what we call this one. Welcome to soda up to pop. <laughs> anyway, Matt and I discovered that we both really like soda, but I think we both already knew that. We're both anyway, man children. So. We've got a we've got a number of good topics for you tonight. But before we do that, we're gonna tell you who we are and what we did, and then talk to you a bunch more for approximately an hour. I'm Chris, and uh, this week I got a cool T-shirt thanks to Amazon. It's the Warminster Brick Shop logoed shirt, available oh, in go. five colors and many, many, many sizes in both men's and women's cuts. I uh, I designed that shirt and I sell them on Amazon, and I bought one of my own shirts because <laughs> I'm selling at a show this weekend as Warminster Brick Shop, and I thought I should probably buy my own shirt. Yeah, dog. Now, did you get a discount on that shirt? No, but I do get <laughs> royalties from selling it. So, yes. So, it kind of comes back around. Are you going to have any of those shirts for sale at the show? No, because uh, the, a- Amazon printing them is not conducive to bulk ordering them. It's like a one at a time at full price every time kind of thing. So, it's, it's not if you, instantaneous. If, <laughs> if you want one out in Chicago, you can get one. If you go to Amazon.com and type in Warminster Brick Shop, it's the only thing that shows up. And if you do that as Booth, he'll give you a free minifigure. Holly back. Holly the back. Chip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see how many times I can find the 60 years of the Jip poly bag at the show, and I'll take pictures. You sh- oh, that'll be good. Or you should just buy all, you should swoop all of them up and then have some sort of mock contest with only 60 years of the brick sets that everyone gets. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to buy those. <laughs> I am not going to buy those. Uh, also, today at Target, I got two sets on clearance. It wasn't, it was like 30% off, so it, wasn't, it weren't good deals necessarily. But with a show this weekend, I figured I can sell them quicker than if I didn't have a show this weekend. I bought the Thor Ragnarok Hella Dog Spaceship set. Hella for Dogs. Hella Dog. <laughs> He's got Hella Dogs. It's. <laughs> 35 from 50, and I bought the uh, police station, the 2017 police station, as opposed to the 2016 or the 2015 or the 2018 police station. I bought the 2017 police station for 70 from 100. I that's wonder the if one anyone that only has three helicopters, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I wish I could say it's the only one that has a heist planned that involves a truck pulling a wall out of the out of the but it prison. isn't because that is isn't. every prison. Oh wait, except the one where it was a sea do. <laughs> <laughs> except I would love to see a helicopter Why trying to pull. Putting the uh, doors on the outside. <laughs> no reason. How do you type with boxing gloves on? <laughs> uh, that's that. That's all that I did. I got the shirt. I bought two sets. I probably shouldn't have, but I bought them anyway. You're here's American, to yeah. here's to employee discounts. How about you, Paul? Um, I didn't buy anything from Target, even though I did see a number of the new sets that are that are now released. Um, that looked pretty cool. So I saw a, a few of the uh, new Star Wars sets, and and I saw a few of the. Uh, Come on, new, go new faster, ones. Paul. <laughs> It's fun here this way, um, but yeah, I wasn't really didn't really spend too much time buying oh, my whoops, stuff because of the baby. Put some pictures of my newborn baby in there. Sorry, <laughs> this is all that uh, that was purchased Lego wise. Um, fine, like like Andrew Lee before me, I was able to grab some of the Toys R Us Jeffrey exclusive sets um, for the now closing Toys R Us. My wife actually found these for me because I had not been able to find them. And she happened to find two, so I was excited. Man, she pops out a kid, and she's already out at Toys R Us just running around. Man, she, you she know what me. I love about the picture of Jeffrey on the back? It looks like he's being rehabilitated to walk. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids are like, you can do it, Jeffrey. He's like, ah. <laughs> Good for Jeffrey. He, he, he is trying to rehab his life. <laughs> Uh, if you, yes. if you enjoyed that joke and jokes like that, please 
consider giving a comment down in the chat. Or what's uh, what's actually funny is that if he were to wear uh, Andrew's mech suit that he designed for this, then he wouldn't need to be able to walk. He wouldn't need to be taught by children how to walk again. <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he doing hopscotch? Is that what's really happening? Oh, maybe that's what's is happening. Is that what that is? <laughs> that, that, uh, it could be. I, I, make, oh, I, I can't say for sure. Yeah, yeah, hopscotch. It's for sure hopscotch. His legs look fine. Yeah. Don't cry. <laughs> 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 and uh, in addition wow. to that, um, I did pick. I did get a couple things in the in the mail uh, that were purchased a few weeks ago um, that finally came in. So um, we had talked in maybe the second or third episode of this show. We talked about um, how Shingba was actually kind of. They were they were paying some some mockers to they were paying them for their ideas and for their designs in order to actually be able to sell their sets and so that way at least the designers while not being able to get their sets produced by Lego would still be able to make some money and be able to sell some of their things well, and like so I that we would like to speculate that Lepin was Jackin exactly yeah and I, I think that's pretty much confirmed is that is that uh, Lepin Lepin uh, what it, whichever is pronounced it's, it's it's never been Lepin. I'm okay. <laughs> no one's ever said that. Except well, for you, Paul. Well, you, you realize that that's a Chinese company, right? And I'm the Asian one in this group, yeah. right? It's so <laughs> ironic. How the Hot Asian, Asian thing. Person. That's right. Pronouncing it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so with the, with the Xingbao says, they, they have been, they've been paying and working with some creators. I, I'm right, not Paul, say do all. the rest of the show in Chinese. Go. Xingbao. <laughs> 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 That's racist. Uh, <laughs> but they have been they have worked with a few designers and have paid them for their designs and um have actually started producing those sets. Two of which I decided to pick up. Um, oh. oh my god, no. Oh. Because uh, <laughs> I want to see how they compare to from Chingbao bricks to Lego bricks. And also I'm actually pretty curious. So I have the, both of the Arvo brothers dream um, designs. I have the Akira bike. You got a uh, dream car and Olivia Xenomorph queen. Oh, nice. right over hold, here. On, hold on, hold up that dream car. It is actually oh, not even okay. a car at all. It's a. No, it's no, a, no, no, no. I'm, I, that's. Oh, I know. I, I, I think it's funny. It just says dream no, car, even though it's not a car. Keep, you keep speculating on what I'm going to say. That's actually a pretty well-known mock from a while back, unless it's just a recreation the of Akira a mock. Bike, right? It is indeed the Akira bike. Oh, I'm saying that's been a pretty famous Lego mock for a while. Uh, unless, it, unless it's someone who's ripping off some of the build techniques of the original mock. Uh, these, this, in theory, I cannot confirm because I have not known it forever. But I know that the Arvo brothers are the ones who are known for this mock specifically. Yes, yes, and, that's, and that's this what I'm is thinking of. this is actually theirs. This is the one that they have verified that they are indeed working with Xingbao and, and gave them the design. And if I like these en enough, if I if I, I figure if I like the design enough, I'll actually Looks. buy I'll yeah, this is a, a pretty substantial one. Xingbao. And, and this is the alien the alien I, one is 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 a whopping book right over here that could like knock out a child if you were to hit someone with it. Hey, you um, have one. You can't say that because <laughs> you have a child now. Uh, indeed. But you can, like, they have the Arvo Brothers on their own website have hardcover um, books with the instructions and with kind of behind the scenes as to how they came up with the design and all that. So um, if I if I end up liking these, I will certainly support them and buy those books. And so that way uh, I will support their creative design that way as well. Right. Um, but that is all and I what, have. What fire will you cast the uh, knockoffs into? <laughs> we will see because I believe the uh, just the wheels alone for this thing cost like fifty bucks. Or That's what like I that. wanted to talk about. <laughs> so we'll see when we actually get there, and uh, once I actually build it. Um, if anybody listening and or watching would would have a preference as to which one I did first, go ahead and leave a comment in the video. Um, that's, or, a, that's a kit, right? Like not, not just you didn't just buy the instructions; you bought correct. The I just uh, did not want to show the the box full of bricks that I have, especially the like alien a, one is all black bricks. So it's like really a no chip point. bag. I hope it's like a chip bag worth of bricks. <laughs> just like oh, they're all in there. <laughs> like a like a ruffles a bag, chip yeah, bag? A little extra air. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, just to keep it safe. No, it is. They are all in in their own little bags. Um, I believe they are non numbered bags, so I will have to dump all of them in a pile. Oh no! It's like you're going back ten years. I'm I'm gonna be building like Chris did uh, with the extent of his Lego building technique from 1995. Shots fired, man. Ching <laughs> bow. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a Gundam. Um, so that uh, that's all I've got for my week. Um, what does anybody else have? Matt, how about you? How was your week? I guess I'll talk. It was all right. I actually uh, built some Lego in the hey. on the weekend, which was nice. Finished up the diner because Bag 5 had been waiting for my return from the tour. Uh, so it was nice just to get the roof on there. And then after that, I was like, I still want to build some Rego. So I got uh, a... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so I built uh, Olivia's light cycle in a bottle. There you go. <laughs> which is the new Legos idea set, um, which features Olivia, white Olivia, not black Olivia. Um, Bolivia? Bolivia. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. And the uh, orange light cycle she's known to drive in the Lego, Lego friends. Yeah. Series. The grid doesn't look the same as last time I was there. No, it's, 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 it's broken. It's, yeah. You know, when they remake stuff, stuff changes. And then I also got uh, Anton's light cycle. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, Flappy the Bird. You'll remember him from the Tron movie. Uh, the, he's the guy with two discs. Um, <laughs> big deal. And so, yeah, the Anton's there. Uh, it was Tron all along. It was Tron all along. <laughs> I think my, so new, I my, like new favorite, my new mocker of choice is now uh, Iron Claw. Yeah. These are amazing designs. Just, you know, insane ideas <laughs> no one ever thought of. Uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, they were both pretty fun builds. I did not build the orange cycle and then the blue cycle. I built them in tandem. Um, I will say the ship in the bottle was rewarding to finish, but uh, I found a few of the sections of the build to be a little like bleh. Um, building the base of the bottle is a little like... Uh, and then uh, building the parts that the the bottle stands on is a little repetitive because you just built the same thing four times and it's whatever. But uh, it's it's all very clever. How many clear studs did you put in? I put them all. <laughs> and I really loved the compass. Yeah, and that's a pretty cool piece. It's wonderful. I, I can only assume that they give you an extra stud because they always get an extra stud. So. Everyone's well, putting in, everyone's it. put everyone's putting in more than they're supposed to. What is it? 283, so is it 284? I, I don't know. know. I know some builders though they would count them out and be like there's an extra one. That's my extra <laughs> My extra one is right over here in yeah. the right over there in it. It didn't make it all the way in. It didn't make it all the way in. Yeah, so uh the bottle's great and uh as you can see, spaceships are going to look pretty dope in it later on in life. And uh, yeah, it's pretty great. I'm happy with it. And I'm happy I got to do some building uh, just because I was feeling a little deprived of that. Did you miss it while you were on tour? Uh, yeah, a little bit. But uh, I was working <laughs> so much, I guess I didn't really get to like truly miss it. And just one more shot of Flappy and Ant in there. <laughs> Yar. <laughs> the things I seen. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, now we're going to jump into some topics. And tonight, I believe, uh, we're going to do a little charcuterie board, as they say, of topics. Shorter time. We're not going to spend too long on anything. How uh, many things I, are we going to cover? Three things? Three oh, small how many things? I usually do no more than three small things. You know, charcuterie board, you got olives, artichokes, uh, prosciutto. <laughs> <laughs> That's three things. A Jesus. good manchego. <laughs> yeah, a good manchego. So uh, first thing, Paul's up with a little modification. Since I modified my Lego idea sets, uh, what would you find out there in the world? Yeah, so as a as a perfect segue from your modifications, um, want to go? When you mention it, oh, <laughs> so good. Want to go right back to the Lego minifigure factory? Um, I'm on a couple boards, and um, he's on the boards, them. man. He's the chairman <laughs> of the board. Uh, board spelled B-O-R-E-D, right? Board. Um, so mm -hmm. this is a, a a Lego mocker that was that is a fellow board member, uh, Muhammad Hassan Jamal. Um, and we had talked about so he says. <laughs> in a couple episodes ago, we had talked about the minifigure factory and how it was slightly disappointing, at least to me, Brace but... shit. <laughs> <laughs> in the, in the words of one ace Milo, it's a piece of shit. 
Um, so what we have here, he has actually gone uh, and done a pretty good job with creating his own minifigure factory, using all the, the buildable pieces, um, and then just doing the rest of the stuff on his own as a mocker would. And as you can see here, it, uh, it retains all the functionality of the original within the box where um, the table itself does slide. And in doing so, it changes the kind of minifigure that is being produced, being I guess. Being inspected. Exactly. <laughs> um, and but why would the table slide? <laughs> because that is the limitation of the set in a box. Um, he has uh, done a good job of kind of just doing some creative things with it. So you kind of get the ideas of, of uh, what the original set conveyed, even though these are these are just... Oh, get it? Convey? Convey <laughs> <laughs> These are one by six uh, plates that they have over here in the varying colors. Oh, for the pipes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I do. They have all those pipes in the diff in the actual colors that that are there, Chris. Do you know offhand? They don't have pipes in, in any color. <laughs> okay, so there you go. The answer is no on that one. Pipe? They only have thick. <laughs> elbow pipes in red or what you can create pipes out of <laughs> well whatever these are uh, are representing whatever those pieces would be called which i don't those know what they elbows would are great yeah <laughs> aren't they great yeah i'm so glad they came back they're a little bit different but they're still awesome do they make you mad do the differences make you mad or do you like the new changes no they added uh instead of it just being a, a stud tube on either end um it's now an axe it's a stud tube and an axle right so this, this is nice. pretty cool. It's great that he's uh, built that out a little bit. I guess the only, the ultimate version of this would to be have a have a the man stay stationary. You have a function and conveyor belt, and so it's built up on blocks. That way, the little mini men go under into a hidden channel, and then the uh, board. <laughs> that would be pretty impressive. Damn. Or That's you can just you, you can cut up the whole cardboard box and make your own mechanism that utilizes the images from the box. And well, then or you or, or you put away. the you you put the uh, images repeating on a band instead of a card. That way, it can forever go, forever and ever and ever. <laughs> you that build would, it, we'll be... put it on the show. It could be the next uh, like great ball contraption kind of a thing. Is how do, how do you make the minifigure factory actually function? I gotta say, I'm not a fan of when they use the snot technique to hang a clock on the wall, but the snot bricks are square and the clock is round, so you get so you can the, see uh, it the corners of the snot yeah. bricks behind it. Like you can you can figure out a better way, <laughs> even if it's just using the same color snot bricks as as your tornado ain't got shit on this brick wall. <laughs> a very critical review. Ahmed, <laughs> 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 we're calling you out. <laughs> but that very is all. Cool. I thought it would be a kind of a nice thing to kind of spotlight, just to show that there are ways that you can you can make it a little more substantial. Something that would Next make it look it good. Would have been irrelevant, so it had to be this week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, all so right. that's it from for our piece of prosciutto here. What's uh, what's the yeah, next piece? What's the olives? We got a I, little. I'm uh, the olives. <laughs> all right, I'm the olives. Paul stole the prosciutto right right out from under me. Damn yeah. straight. Um, we're gonna look at Woodles. Woodles. Uh, for all of our iTunes listeners and audio listeners, we got uh Mr. Woodles on Instagram. <laughs> he can be found at w o o o o. T L E S. <laughs> That's four O's for those of you counting at home. Uh, Jan Magno, would, fan of Lego Cars him, and Travel. That would make him Woodles instead of Woodles. Yeah. <laughs> he um he does some pretty good car builds, but what I really like is his his skyscrapers. He does. Um, they're very repetitive, but they're very nicely done, and he does interiors too, which is nice. I like uh, his little street level there. And the roof, oh my god. And skyscrapers yeah, like, are repetitive. <laughs> That's how they are. Yeah, yeah, but I want to back up because he's got a little city going, and I forget what he named it. Um, Woodle Town. <laughs> no, it's it's got a good name. Uh, but I want to get a shot. Oh, he's a soda Sopa. That's a nice condominium complex. Yeah. These are very impressive. Dang. So... Oh dang, uh, Woodles! Uh, yeah, uh, I'm and not he also seeing... takes his cars out on the road with them, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Um, 
I swear he has a name. Wait, is that a, just a Lego storage tub? Under so he was gonna say it's a like a bin. A tub. It's, it's a temporary. That's a building in progress. He probably just didn't buy, didn't build the lobby section of it yet. Um, he's um, oh there, the Wasabi District. <laughs> black Ash Roads. I like his black gloss roads too. That's nice. Yeah, it's just a it stands out. I'd say it's snot, but it I don't think good. it is because his studs on the on the um. The stripes here are up, so this might all be tiles. The I think that's tiles. The I usual imagine. way you do this is you build the whole thing sideways, and you're using bricks. So the side of the bricks is the flat yeah, yeah. surface. And yeah, um, that's pretty crazy, though. Why so is that uh, the preferred or the uh, traditional way to do it? Like, it has fewer cheaper? pieces. It's cheaper, oh. and anything that's not just using a regular road base plate is uh, going to be pretty expensive. Yeah. So a one by anything plate is cheaper than a tile of is that uh, what you're saying because like the thickness it, of two plates is about the width of a tile right yeah but you would use just black bricks on their side and the other thing about doing it on its side is that you can have the stripes be a lot thinner because you can have them be the side of one plate when right. if he's doing it studs up the thinnest he can get it is one. one one plate, yeah. one right. stud, yeah. Which it appears he's got studs there. Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Nice. And his street lights are wonderful as well. Yes, so he goes for real hyper realistic. Um, he does. This Jeep keeps coming up. It's it's well done, and the dark yeah. green color is a great choice for this. Like a little Wrangler. It is good. I like those beefy tires too. Yeah, it's dope. Uh, so he has a bunch of different buildings. I like his he Dunkin' does, Donuts. <laughs> he does like full interiors too. So this is, uh, you can see now he's got an Amazon box down here underneath it. But I, I'm guessing he builds the repetitive part and then he figures out what he wants to lobby and the roof to be like. But I really like the curve, the, yeah. like the bay window on the front of this. And he's got a... I like how he's, he's putting some white tiles in behind them just to sort of break up the monotony. Yeah, it's um, like a blind of, of the repetitiveness. Yeah, it's, it's he that's has, really sharp. If I can really find it, a oh, uh, look at that downward view. Go up. There's some really nice shots here that like are pretty immersive. This this one right here, where you're sort of looking down at the city. Yeah, from... a race speeder. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the DeLorean behind it? No. No. Maybe. I can't quite tell. Maybe. Just, oh, I love the red brick walkways too. Pedestrian walkways. Yeah. That's cool, man. All right. So, and he's so I wanted to show. Oh, here it is. The um, he's got the floor plan for each level, and you see the angles that are going on in this building, and it's it's using hinges to get it done. But he furnishes every level. That's something you don't need to do at all. But he does it. Yeah, he's got like a big flat screen TV and a fridge in there, and damn. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> and this this is um this this tower is called One Azure. Oh, and he's got a California California King. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm broke the tape measure out for that one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so That's... and 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 it has a dedicated uh, elevator, and it's I don't think it's functional, but there's it's an the elevator penthouse. shaft that goes through all of the. That's cool. All of the floors. I like this guy's got a coffee shop right outside his uh his penthouse condo. That's awesome. And he's got a few buildings going now. I don't. There's not too many wide shots of the oh, whole like the Wasabi if, district. If you scroll down a bit more, there's some shots that uh, I love. The air conditioner units on top of the roof. Yeah, I saw them. They were. They were somewhere. <laughs> they were up, yeah, not down. There. Yeah, this is really cool. Right that is cool. So this is Mr. W O O O O T L E S Woodles with four O's of Instagram. Very talented builder. And the I think his color selection is very good for some of these buildings. The colors he chooses is very modern. Yeah. It's, um, and he tells you how many pieces it is and how tall it is, and he's uh, proud of it. And he comments he a lot be. on my stuff. Cool, man. So, 
Thank That's you, cool. Woodles, for your awesome buildings. I think the, your slow and steady approach is the way to go because um, you're you're cranking out a lot of really great buildings, and your city is going to be fantastic. It already is. I love that one. It's got like the the conference table and everything. There's a waiting room, and then there's even like a the kitchen, like the the employee kitchen where they have like the the water cooler and everything like that. This is an awesome just corporate America, corporate plaza, whatever kind of a thing. It's perfect. Yeah. I just gave him a follow for sure. As did I. That's good stuff. Great stuff. All right. That's Woodles. I nice have Woodles. He's got a really cool upscale apartment as well. That's more of like a, what I would call like a traditional modular mock, um, more in line with what we see from Lego. But anywho, give him a follow and you can find that one yourself. <laughs> I like that he's really follow- he's currently followed by string cheese and applesauce. <laughs> That's what a great sword. An elemental Lego, our man. A main man. There you go. And SoCal Brickworks. All right. So, uh, Chris, you got another leak for us for our next little taste. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, damn. So, They're we're going to get there. pulled from the internet for showing this, but this is a leak of the roller coaster that's coming out this summer. Yeah, this is cool. That's very impressive, actually. That's got a lot of detail, more stuff than I thought that would have. It looks very big. Yeah, and this is a crop shot, but I'm not sure really how much is not in this shot. It might yeah, I, I kind of turn and be done. This most. might be most of it. Most of it. It looks like there's a cotton candy. It looks like there's a pink beehive. Yep, that's what that is. Yeah. With a bird on top. Is that flappy? On. It's flappy. <laughs> He's everywhere. Uh, no, that's so, that means Anton's here somewhere. His wings are in. Um, no, no, they're out. It's just really bad. Oh resolution. yeah, no, yeah, that's flop. That's floppy. <laughs> <laughs> look at these. Look at all the cranks on the side of this thing. Oh, it's man. uh. So I'm guessing it's manual, but if you hook the motor up to a certain part of it, it yeah. would uh, constantly run the chain to bring it up. And there's, is that the chain right there? Oh, so maybe it actually has enough momentum from just going down that it can run through the whole coaster? That is the concept of the roller coaster, so we can only hope. <laughs> that would be great. That would be really cool. If this thing is this has got a lot of bricks, like way more. It's way more substantial than I would have guessed. Like this is going to be a big set. It, it looks and, fun uh, to build. I don't know if I would keep it built, but it looks like it'd be kind of a rewarding day project, you know, to build it and to run it a few times. But so I believe this is the creator expert set, and there's also a creator roller coaster that's smaller. It's coming out, which will have alternate builds. This one, yeah. however, probably. We won't. Be one off. Yeah. I like Very the uh, the, how they built the, the the letters of the coaster there. I like how they did that. Yeah. And right. uh, I think the, the final shout out should be to the commenters on this post. Uh, Eric <laughs> Battis, hot flush and bricking in my basement. Probably, <laughs> probably fake. Probably. <laughs> this doesn't look at all like the leaks. But That's because there's two roller coasters, you dummy. Well, he's bricking in his basement, and his parents' basement is probably more accurate. Oh, he's more man. like bricking under a rock. Shots fired. <laughs> Sorry, brah. <laughs> Brucking in my basement. <laughs> Brucking. <laughs> That's right. Out of That's cool, though. A little roller coaster. I don't think we'll spend too much longer on that. We'll let all the other assholes in the world talk about that, like Brucking in my basement. <laughs> Brucking but, in yeah. my basement. All right. So, uh, you know, Paul, let's uh, pull a topic of the hat. Ah, uh, let's let's go to the uh, the list of questions that we have. Yeah, um, we, that are we, asked we get, at our we show. Get, we get people writing in constantly because we're really popular, uh, and these are real fan questions, things they want to talk about us to talk about. And uh, who do we have from today? Who's, who's first who's question here? is from Brian B out of Delaware, and oh, little Brian. Brian. <laughs> he's a a uh, second, uh, third time, long time. I uh, think for Brian <laughs> B here, um, his question is. If Hasbro buys Mattel, which would prevail, Mecha Constructs or Creo? Huh. Who fucking cares? And that's uh, thank you very much, Brian B. Thanks, from Brian. Thanks. Thanks <laughs> your, a whole lot. Your, your, your feedback and your input. All right, now we're going to get to a real topic other than <laughs> Brian's shitty topic from Delaware. <sighs> What's that topic there, Matt? 
Oh, well, we got a topic to just shoot the shit on, actually, uh, to just close out our set here. It's uh, what do we feel are sets that aren't being built? Now, these could be sets we've seen back in the past that maybe got a few versions over the years in City Line or whatever, or, you know, things that uh, are underserviced in the Lego world. Um, and just to start things off, I believe Chris said hospitals. Helicopters. Yeah, hospitals, hospitals have been very few and far between. They've done, I want to say plenty, plenty of hospitals, but it's nowhere near your police station or your fire station or even your airport. Yeah. Especially when we get random airports in the heroes, superheroes line. And... <laughs> <laughs> the airport battle. Mm-hmm. So like yeah, there there are we get a lot of, for lack of a better term, repeat sets. So we 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 talked sure. just like Chris said. We, there's there's basically a new police station set every year, um, yeah. ish somewhere in there. And I I have a I've got some. There was when I first got started getting back into Lego, I went kind of balls out on all the police station, all the police sets for that year. Just he to was kind gonna of, be a, a policeman when he grew up. <laughs> <laughs> just to kind of bulk it out and I wanted to get all of them and then of course they've they, they come out with a new police station every year with some slight modifications I can't say improvements or not but they all have the same play feature where you can break out of jail and that you need to take the helicopter to chase someone down so they so that the prisoner can be brought back in um, every year they add an extra rotor to the helicopter <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> was that that looked delicious there, Matt? Yeah, delicious. this is a new soda. I found. Oh, from, he's... <laughs> this is from uh, Olivia Soda Co. <laughs> <laughs> um, Respecting the Lego ideas here, <laughs> but yeah, so there there are definitely. If if one were to just keep buying these sets now, there there would there would be kind of holes in 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 the city, for lack of a better term, once again, because um, there's things the that city. aren't produced as much, and so someone like Matt, who is building his own city, where he's got uh, he, he's going to have a little kind of a dock area and all that, and he wants to get things like his Lego whorehouse or whatever it might be that he needs to add to, oh, to his Chinatown. Okay. Like there's a, there's stuff that's, that hasn't been produced by Lego yet. And, um, or not in a very long time. Still waiting on that whorehouse. <laughs> well, no, that's, I, I think Shin Pao built that. Yeah, they uh, did actually. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what, what else do, is, no, is missing I mean, from our collection? I mean, you could look at professions or industries that aren't being represented so much in the, I mean, I think Chris mentioned farming. Yeah, the farm has only been done once, and it was in about 2009, somewhere around there. They did a, like, so, you know, how town or city always has uh, sub-themes. So they did the Arctic for city, and they did the, um, it's still police, but like, they did the, 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 Swamp cops, and then they did the, the snow cops. forest police, and the snow cops was also done, and the ostrich riders with the Z, they were <laughs> right. all done. But so, am I looking at what? Yes, is... yes. So the, it was a whole wave. That this that cool. wave was farming, and uh, they did it once. That's it. It's interesting because uh, I remember when um, <clears throat> when my wife and I were first started dating and started getting back into Lego. Um, we looked at some of these because uh, she is a farmer's daughter out of the Midwest, and so we had we picked up a couple of these, like the it was a combine harvester set and things like that that we've got. That surprisingly, that that combine harvester is worth a lot of money, and I, I assume it's just because they don't really produce a lot of farm sets. I Correct think this would be a great thing to bring back. I mean, there's a lot of playability here uh, that doesn't necessarily involve people breaking into things and stealing stuff and <laughs> chased by police. But where's the fun in that? If there's if there's not if a helicopter can't that's come and true. rescue the state no males, conflict. that's the that's the thing. That's the issue is that there's no conflict here. At this least with really the, cool. that looks <laughs> awesome. With, um, <laughs> at least with uh, a um, a hospital. There's conflict of like you know the ambulance. It's in a hurry. There's somebody who's injured. All that. There's this is conflict. like the th- agriculture industry is dying. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta thresh that wheat. 
or else we're all gonna die. Now, did the thresher actually dispense yellow bricks as it threshed? The it pooped. Um, did, did it poop the well, bricks? It didn't no. convert bricks? some bricks into other bricks, but no. It, like, could you the, load uh, it? The uh, the thing on the front, the thresher, it did roll. It, it spun as you rolled the tractor, which was nice. Yeah, but did it drop off little? It's a you want to look for a Lego combine harvester. No, it, it didn't. It didn't. I'm just gonna say no. The, and the and the only other farming set they did it before that. If you look at that red tractor that was just on the um, the old Technic tractor, yeah, that went to the yeah that yeah. That's the last time they did it, and that's in the early '80s. It looks like a good six years. The brick kind of a set. This that might be, that might be earlier than that. <laughs> I think that's, that's the set back. one. I I will say it right now. I think they should bring back farm. I think it's wholesome. I think it teaches hard work, and I think. There's a playability uh, factor in there that uh, is missing from a lot of a lot of toys. See, I, I wonder if like they have some farm type things in like the Duplo sets, um, where there there are some that are that are kind of farm themed there. So I wonder if they just assume that it's only kids like farm animals. More older builders wouldn't like this kind of stuff. I'm not sure. I don't know. I know plenty of I know plenty of AFOLs who are just dying to get more animals. Oh, I, I will agree with you on that. Like like I said, my, my wife is a is a farmer's daughter. So the just just for just even for me seeing some of these, I'm like, that's surprisingly accurate. That 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 combine harvester looks a lot like an actual combine harvester. Right. And what so, else? I mean other industries. Uh I mean we get lots of boats and we get water boats and we get I don't think I've seen a fishing boat to go with the fishing shop. They've oh, had even. plenty. They've had plenty of like small fishing boats, not like commercial fishing, if yeah. that's what you're talking about. But not they've like had plenty of catch. like two dudes going out, going to catch some fish, put them in the cooler, come back, fish for. Oh yeah, well that's like your classic like life pirates lifeboat. <laughs> your George Clooney in the Perfect Storm kind of a, yeah. a fisherman. <laughs> yeah, they haven't had any like. Um, Deadliest catch style vessels. Yeah, with the deck <laughs> and like, yeah, you know, it might be neat to do something, you know, a little more, maybe a little smaller than the last pirate ship that came out, but something like a commercial fishing boat. Um, I mean, these are all kind of fitting more into the uh, city line, um, but I think a lot of the properties Lego license uh, are well are well serviced to the point where they're hurting other things like space like we're not going to get space because star wars star wars is so prevalent and with the the increased rate of the star wars movies coming out it's it's yeah. unlikely we'll ever see a successful space theme again most themes have a three-year i shouldn't speak because I, I don't work for lego but i, I believe that most themes have a three-year plan and if it doesn't go that well, they cut it early. If it goes well, they renew it. And if it's okay, then it ends after three years. But when's the last yeah. time we had a space theme that reached three years? Yeah, I think Lego wants to plays it safe in the world where they're like, we know we're selling space. It's called Star Wars. And if we do another space, we're either going to sell less Star Wars or we're not going to sell the space we're making. Yeah, if it's one or the other, I'm sure the 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 almighty dollar is what talks in that case. They're they're gonna go with the the proven yeah the, the proven property. It certainly, is gonna be Star Wars. And yeah, so I guess I should be almost thankful that the Lego Movie brought at least a couple sp classic styled space sets into kind of the lexicon again and kind of brought them back to to everyone's vision. But um, I was hoping we get more of that kind of stuff, but I guess not. Yeah, and then I mean kingdoms. Harry Potter's coming. We're not going to see any kingdoms. Uh, castle and that kind of stuff. And I mean with Nexo Knights. Nexo Knights is kind of this world of space and technology uh, and, and fantasy similar to like the original Masters of the Universe, but maybe a little less humble about it. <laughs> a little more like, <laughs> oh, space! Uh, <laughs> Masters of the Universe is a is a Megablox thing anyway now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gross <laughs> so yeah harry potter might take that castle slot i like to imagine I that the different core back. themes have sorry. sorry to harry potter fans but i think it's so stupid 
<laughs> well, there you go again, alienating another portion of our fan base. Nice Whatever. job. Whatever. I hope they're all <laughs> males aged 36 to 39 and they don't fuck themselves for like. <laughs> so there's a Disney uh, castle behind Chris right now. That's kind of a castle. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I mean, it's been there. <laughs> yeah, I like castle. I like fantasy. No, I'm just like, that's, like... that's our castle theme <laughs> set. And it's like, okay, well, you know what? Here's the thing. Um, Amazon Prime, Amazon Studios, uh, is going to be producing a Lord of the Rings series. Will we have a Lego tie-in to that? That is actually pretty interesting because I don't know. With that going to Amazon, I don't know. Does it, does Lego have that license still then? Is Anymore? their license with the movie studios? Is it with uh, the Tolkien estate? Is it with, <laughs> you know, it's like, who is it with? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to look also, either. you have to think about <laughs> how many kids are going to see this Amazon Prime series. Because well, exactly. if None. they don't see it, the show, they're not going to want to buy these Lego sets necessarily. Exactly. So that, that was just a weird thing because obviously we are all aware that Lego did Lord of the Rings. And it was pretty successful, even through The Hobbit, I think. Yeah. Um, those sets have retained quite a good value. Um, oh yeah, and uh, yeah, just the it's coming back to screens, small screens, but uh, it's coming back. Uh, but what's still yeah, up for I, grabs I, is definitely pirates. Pirates. So and this it, is something that maybe they're playing. They just did pirates. What two years ago? Three. Um, you know, Lego pirates. Yeah. Um, they yeah they did Lego Pirates three uh, a couple years ago with that that user named boat mm-hmm. the one where it was like a contest to name it a brick bounty which is like so creative I didn't realize that was a, a fan named thing I didn't know that yes yeah you could have missed it easily um, <laughs> they should just call it pirate ship the pirate boat the steely men watercraft. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah they, they released be... that they released the little dinghy they released the skull island they released the uh the good guys cracking attacking <laughs> yeah so they did uh and then for the the latest pirates of the caribbean movie there was only one set and it was a big dumb half a boat half a it was, boat it was kind of cool and and two brickheads. They did two brickheads and a uh, a boat yeah, that you can only I put as a display piece. I don't want and... licensed pirates. No, I I'm don't... just saying that they had a bunch of sets for the previous pirates movie, and then this movie comes out and we get one set and two brickheads. Yeah. So maybe they're not going down that route. And I don't know if there's I mean, another pirates movie coming, but I think, I think unlicensed done. pirates is a potential. I think there's some, um, and I think. They're great. They're awesome. I think they need to sort of go into some new territory because actually the the four to six sets they released were all kind of reprised, re updated sets. They were, system. yeah. They were all just sort of new things. So it'd be neat to like give us a Skull Island or something, you know? Like Can a they full do you Skull think, Island? Do you think they could do Islanders in this day and age? Like people who live on an island. Like the uh, the pirate the the pirate Gilded neutral Bay. faction of Islanders from the early nineties, which oh, was like King Kahuka and all these like scantily clad uh, tribal folk. Oh, my God! <laughs> you... <I> got... <laughs> yeah, look at Lego Islanders. It was, yeah, it was a theme. Happening. And uh, sorry, Lego sorry, Islanders. you guys don't know about it. I'm gonna highlight you. Is That's Islanders. Too... That's yes. Islanders. It's so, so colorful. I've, I've seen these. I've seen these. Do course. you think they could pull that off now? Now, the Islander sets, almost all of them had some pirates in it because the pirates are always like trying to steal shit from the Islanders or yeah, trick them or enslave treads, them or something. I think this treads a culturally insensitive line, which I don't know if Lego is still not a, still like fearless in treading that line. I think they're a little more aware. Not so many Red Indians anymore? Yeah, like... Come hey, on. charcuterie, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that figure would fly. Speaking anymore. of charcuterie. <laughs> um, yeah. Actually, if you look up the Series 11, there's a, ser- there's a Series 11 minifigure that was very reminiscent of the Islanders. So yes, I, I, I recall. Yeah. That guy. 
It had the same hat. It actually brought back that the hair with, that can hold something. The, like, bone the clip. The yeah. It had it brought back that hair, which we hadn't seen since Islanders. Actually, no, they used it. They used it for the cannibals in um in Pirates of the Caribbean. He's got but, the shine right on him. <laughs> right on him. Yeah. See, he's got a little. But yeah, the bones there. The mask is like a rubber piece that's on a neck bracket. And like the grass skirt is the same. It's, it's pretty awesome that that came out. And it's... I think I have him. I'm not sure though. Uh, but yeah, he was fun. So I guess the you know that wasn't that long ago. Um, they could do it. I don't know. You know. So the it, pirates it, got to do something. Is the fact that this came out in a, in a minifigure series? Do you think that is gonna be like one of those that? That's just oh, we we did do one, so we don't need to do that. We don't need to revisit that anytime soon. We already kind of put that put that one out there then uh ice cups. i don't know I, I think if they had a whole steam of islanders that they would it, it sucks that they can't do that kind of thing th- these days but uh there's also the option they can do a whole completely new unlicensed original ip like well that's what i'd like to see you know i mean whether we call it an IP like to the level of Ninja Go and Nexo Knights, um, or whether it's just something sort of broad like pirates, like kingdoms. Um, I would love to see something new from Lego. I don't know what that is. I mean, I'll say it again, monster hunters. Yeah. In, in the early two thousands, they had a theme called alpha team, which yeah. was, uh, it coincided with a PC game at the time, and they did three waves of it. It was the standard Alpha Team, then there was the Mission Deep Sea, uh, and then there was the Arctic Mission, Arctic something, I don't know. And it survived for three Five waves. Action stars. It had um, it had different characters on the team, and the bad guy stayed the same. It was his name's Ogle, which was just Lego spelled backwards, <laughs> and he changed a little bit from series to series. And so did the the Alpha team members. They their looks changed, but they they added team members, and each team member had a, a unique ability. Like this guy's the demolitions, this one's ropes, that one's uh, uh, communications and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, technology and stuff. And yeah, like, I, I, see, I see that. That's a universally accepted concept. Like, let's have a, I, I, a even team. Even saying it, like, what if they did some sort of, like, movie set thing? Like, it's an action star. So where you actually have, like, the film crew and, like, you know. Yeah, totally. Like, I think they kind of did that once, if I'm not mistaken. It they was like a, a play set, right, or something like that? The, they had uh, uh, the Lego Studios line in yeah. 2000, yeah. Um, which even spawned a Steven Spielberg minifigure. But really, that it was that one coincided with a big old clunky Lego camera that was like this big uh, digital camera that was hardwired into your computer. Uh, it wasn't. Oh, oh, Matt's, so look, look. Matt's looking it up, yeah, and so awesome. there was all these sets. I had this. This was the Explosion Studio. So basically, it was a building that was built really shoddily, <laughs> and if you pushed a, a spring on the it back, the whole thing just exploded. And so, yeah, we got Temple Danger of Gloom. Mc, we got Danger <laughs> Mix Never Dies here. And uh, yeah, I Each see one. what they did. So they kind of did this. Yeah, if I, you do I, the I, um, the one above that to the left of the cameraman. Oh, look at that. He's got garlic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the. Uh, That's an awesome Dracula, by the way. That's a pretty cool looking one. Go, go one more to the left. Yeah, this is the studio set. So it had a giant T Rex foot on a oh, on a boom, so you could stomp it down for a close up. It's got the That's getaway fun. car. It's got the flames. The road cracks in half, and there's lava underneath. It's got and the so T-Rex. they had an actual USB camera. So That's you the could camera. Shoot little Lego movies. The with. buildings fell down. There's a guy with a giant fan to to uh, oh, have like wind going. Too. Street breaks. There's giant oh, lights. Really cool. The director's on a um, a what is that? A jib. If it moves them around, oh, he yeah, goes left it, and it's right. Sli- it, it trucks left and right. Yeah, it's a dolly then. Okay. Oh, he's got on... little buildings to get crushed by the Bigfoot. Yeah, this is brilliant. Yes. 
So they did you, this. You need okay. this set, man. <laughs> you need to get that one. And you see the, uh, yeah. the they had the extra long flex tube with like yeah, a brick on the end, so you so you could you know from afar control the minifigures. Like, hey, I'm a minifigure. He's a dinosaur. <laughs> um, it it coincided with Jurassic Park three, so this is the Spinosaurus attack. There right. was a studio set, but it was co-branded with Jurassic Park three. In fact, cool. I think we've mentioned it says JP three as like a oh, tattoo right. on its leg. Sick tat, bro. Bruh. That's not one. This is nothing. Ignore that. And nothing. And they even they touched <laughs> in all the mon- they touched on the monsters too for that one. Like there's they did, there was they original did. Frankenstein's monster and a and Dracula. a werewolf and a Dracula. And a Dracula. And so they did a little movie making line, which is the neat. I think that's a little more like I think that's harder for kids to get into because it's not really a world they understand. Um as many uh, adults don't. So for the alpha team they all have their individual roles, and they act as a team. Compare that to Ninjago. The only difference is you're putting this ninja yeah, motif over like the whole thing. The they ninja. all have Next their different... Nights, same yeah. thing. It's like, oh, I he uses a big mace because he's a huge guy, and this guy uses a bow and arrow, and this guy uses a sword, and he's the leader, and it's it's like it's your Ninja Turtles. It's your... So they could they could pull off Alpha Team. It's just it's just Ninjago without the ninja theme. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's everything. It's you make a cast of characters, and you make a story, and you want that to be simple for kids, uh, and you want these archetypes that kids can identify with, or at least pick as their favorite, the cool one, the guy, you know, the the token girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but true, especially in those early two thousand ninety sets. It's like, oh, and she's the girl that can do that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i i'm excited to maybe see some not that we're going to but see some kind of original ip that doesn't have a a classic motif to it like ninja or pirates yeah, or castle I mean, they, or they like kind that. of like with the city line the jungle exploration like they could have gone there but they didn't they just it could have been sets. adventurers yeah they could have had they adventurers just made the sets and called it city and didn't create characters. Do you think the only difference is that they either name characters or they don't? Because they don't necessarily come up with backstories for any of these characters or even any information on them. It's just the fact that they name them. Creates. Brick Daddy. Brick Daddy. <laughs> yeah, Adventurers yeah. was just the same thing. You build a team, and then there's the bad guys. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they didn't really do it with Egypt. They just didn't name the characters. They just made sets, and it was kind of like almost Monster Hunters. It there could have been a story. There could have been a narrative. You had the crashing plane. You had like the suave dude and the girl, and like a couple other. Oh, people. for a uh, Pharaoh's Quest. If Pharaoh's Quest, yeah, yeah. They yeah. named uh, a couple of them, but not to the point where any story know. could be made. Yeah, yeah. Do you think but, that that is just? kids are different nowadays like they they need to have a storyline that's already set out for them they, they're not as creative and maybe that's why they're they're going to these established i mean that's why they number the bags right <laughs> yeah i, th- I think they did, I they did like Pharaoh's quest or monster hunter or whichever order they did it. and then the next thing that came up was ninja go i guess they had ultra agents in there at, at one point but i don't know how successful that was in comparison yeah, to agents whatever. and stuff. eventually they came to the point where they're like Let's make some TV shows to go with these. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they probably think... made a Lego superheroes movie of some kind, and then they have said, you know what? Kids like movies. Let's make movies. Do you think they couldn't pull off an original IP theme without a TV show tie-in these days? Well, I, I, it's it's hard to say whether they could or they couldn't because that's how you just, drive the sales is with the fiction, right? The associated fiction. I think fiction if, you're, is what really if you're gonna go through the trouble of making a fiction, you might as well sell it in a format separate of the sets, right? So if you're gonna like pay people to write a story and to name characters and to create bad guys and create a light narrative, you might as well just go that extra step and make a netflix series (laughs) (laughs) 
But yeah, I mean that that's that's how you get those additional sales, right? It is you, you that's that that's everyone's mindset at least is but you I, think the fiction that's what, I think that's what made Ninja go from being something that was gonna be a year to two to three years to being like its own it has multiple, a movie. <laughs> multiple eras of Ninja Go. You know, you had the snake people, you had the ghost people, you have the skeleton people. And now they're in this spin jitsu, Masters of Air Jitsu, the Temple of Air Jitsu. They got their full feature film, like full studio feature film. Like, that is the difference. They have went through the trouble of developing it and, you know, it's making money. Yeah. So the question is, when do they decide Ninja Go is done? It's not slowing down. It's still going. Uh is ne- is Nexo Knights going to get a studio film? Do you think? It's no, Nexo Knights is done. The current wave is the last wave. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it never really took off the way Ninja Go did. No, and Ninja Go started in 2011, so it's seven years old. It's impressive. That's a good run. Yeah, kids love ninja it's apparently. Kids love ninjas. <laughs> and they did uh they did Chima to like replace Ninjago See, if that's Ninjago didn't make it. But Chima. that one that one wasn't as good and Ninjago didn't lose its its footing even with Chima out. So there's like entirely too much Chima themed stuff in the in the Lego world. Uh that now they're like, Well what do we do with this? Like there's a there's rides at the amusement parks that are all Chima themed. Then again, they can completely like in a year, uh, no one's gonna even know what fucking Chima is. They're 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 playing the Chima 4D movie at the Discovery Centers, and that's the one that was playing when I was there. And I was like, "Does anyone know what this is anymore?" They're gonna rebrand it as Lego Friends Puppy Men. <laughs> I forgot about Chima. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I guess the last thing we could talk about that they they could revisit is when's the last time we saw Aqua Zone? Like people under the ocean, Atlantis style. I, I guess Atlantis is the answer to that question. Atlantis in like 2012. Atlantis, and then we kind of had a like near city line where there was like. D- yeah, I, I don't count the city ones. I want, I want like something crazy about it, like characters. Atlantis and all the monsters. Well, the they they may do. They may say, "Well, the Aquaman movie is going to get sets. That'll cover it." I mean, they did, Atlantis, they, did, pass, they did they did deep earth miners, power miners. They did, you know, there there's little riffs on what we see in normal city sets. Uh, but I, you know, it's hard to speculate. I'd need to actually sit down and think about it because we just pull, sort of pulled this off the top of our head today to think of like what could Lego do next that is going to be their next Ninja Go, I guess. I I, I think. Um... I think it has to have a TV show behind it, honestly. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and, I, and I think TV. almost any team up with fiction and and uh, and uh, characters could work. Almost you know any. I say almost any because Chima so didn't. Work. There's not a lot of ninja stuff anymore in popular culture. Like back in the guys. <laughs> back in the day, like GI Joe was packed full of ninjas and there's the ninja turtles uh and there was mortal kombat like martial arts films and and mortal kombat and that has really desaturated over the last five five years five to ten like started ten years ago where like sort of white people being ninjas became (laughs) less popular and among more american ninja whiteies uh (laughs) You know, people stop caring about ninjas, and like, I guess Ninja Go hit this little formula where it sort of stayed popular. You know, get them while they're young, sell them on the idea that this is a different culture. It's interesting. You know nothing about it. Ninjas are cool. They can fight. They're invisible. Uh, <laughs> and then let's create some little characters about it, and kids are into it. I guess. I mean. What other than Ninja Go in the world is Ninja right now? I guess it's true. Other than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like you said. Um, but <laughs> oh, like, shit. Theory shot. No, but I mean, that's, that's, that's <laughs> but one. But they're not right? really it's doing much. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Like, they did two bad movies recently, and uh, 
I don't even think they have a cartoon right now, do they? They got the one or... coming. Yeah, they got another one coming. So they're they're still they're still going with with that. But it's true though, because a lot of the like the the there is a, there's kind of a resurgence in ninja stuff and like martial arts movies, but only amongst people our age. It's not kids anymore. It's certainly yeah. it's it's us. So you you get your your Ip Man's and your all the, all those kind of things, and people are starting to appreciate other martial arts movies, but mm-hmm. kids certainly are not. It's definitely aimed at us. Yeah. So yeah, that's so. why Ninjago hit the spot really, and I guess they used to have like um, Avatar: The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra were big cartoons, and were they, those did really well. But even that Legend of Korra yeah, ended years ago, many years ago. So there's there's nothing since then. Um, yeah, really, and I mean, and, and animes again aren't really so popular young amongst young young people. Yeah, I think that's more of like a early teens, to yeah. late teens thing, and you know, nerdy adults who who are watching <laughs> Naruto and Airbender and yeah. When I, uh, when I think of Ninja, uh, Pirates always comes up too because it's, it's kind of like an, yeah yeah. So do you think if they added characters to a original pirates theme that could have as much success i think what they should do is inject pirates into ninja go and then spin off um they they kind of did like for one of the series one of the seasons they shit it up oh i mean they it was like air pirates though you know it wasn't pirates pirates well there's yeah there's that one and then it's pirates is that the same series as the uh Cryptarium prison. Uh, you know what? Outbreak. Fuck it, let's just do space pirates. <laughs> I think cyberpunk is the logical next dis- next decision. Cyberpunk. Actually, that could be really cool. There, there. I've seen a lot of cyberpunk mocks and stuff like that over the years. That could be really cool. A uh, really cool theme. Do kids dig cyberpunk, or is that only like nerds that dig cyberpunk? No, it's only nerds yeah. that dig cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That'd be like saying like they should do goth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess that uh, that about does it for our charcuterie board. I hope you are uh, delighted. I, I don't think tastes. we can speculate any further. <laughs> Nor should we, really. <laughs> Nor should we. Thanks so much for watching. And you know what? I just feel like Chris has some sort of graphic he can put up while Paul talks or something. Yeah, please do that, Chris. Uh, while I think all of our uh, our loyal listeners for listening to us on both our audio formats, uh, either on iTunes or on uh, Google play for all of our viewers on YouTube. Uh, give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but either way, definitely give us a comment so we can find out what kind of stuff you like. Chime in. If you have any charcuterie, pro- uh, <laughs> charcuterie topics like uh, Brian B out of Delaware, we'd love to hear your questions. We'll answer them on a future show. Um, if you uh, have any preference as to which of these Ching Bao sets I should try to build first and, 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 and feature, let us know. Um, definitely want to shout out everybody in the realm of collectors. Check out the ROC Facebook page and check them out on Instagram at realm of collectors. Follow the hashtag realm of collectors. Also follow the hashtag building up to it. Um, if you and uh, check out the RomoCollectors.com website where you can find some potential uh, some uh, some merchandise from the Romo Collectors, or you can check out all the other shows on the Cool Table Network, including such shows as Enter the Realm, Breaking the Mold, Figure Banging, Stasis Lock, Nerd Rage Radio, Shattered Cast Uncuts, Plastic Fanatics, Toy Detox, Beer and Bolters 40K, Eight Weeks. And fresh communications. All of these shows, while they may not be family friendly, they are all part of a friendly family. Now, if you uh, drink a big soda pop and go to bed, we'll send you a free poly bag. That's <laughs> right. I think we uh, effectively coined the charcuterie of topics tonight. I don't think anyone else is saying that on their podcast.